Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching the lesson on section breaks. Here's the scenario. You need to insert a landscape page between two portrait pages. You will need to learn how to insert section breaks to do this. Watch this video to learn how. In the portrait page, go to the layout tab, click on it, and in the page setup group, click the down arrow next to breaks and click next page. Your cursor should now be in the top of the next page. As you can see, we are on page two. We're going to repeat these steps again to insert another section break next page. Go to the layout tab, click the down arrow next to breaks and click next page. Now you can see we have three pages. We want to go to the top of the second page. You can see we are on page two. We need to be in the header of the second page. To do this, go to the insert tab and in the header and footer group, select header. There are many choices, but we want edit header at the bottom of the group. I am now in the header of the second page. When I click edit header, a new tab is now available. The header and footer tools. This is the design group and it brings up these possibilities. Since I'm adding a landscape page, I don't want it to be linked to the previous page or to the next page because I want a portrait page before my landscape page and a portrait page after my landscape page. In the navigation group, the link to previous is highlighted or selected and you can see the same as previous tab on the bottom right of the header. Click the link to previous to deselect it. As you can see, the same as previous tab is no longer displayed. I need to repeat these steps in the footer. Click go to footer. As you can see, the footer is still linked to the previous section. Click the link to previous item in the navigation group. I need to repeat these steps in the header and footer in the next section. To go to the next section in the navigation group, click next. Since I'm in the footer, I'm going to click the link to previous and then I'm going to go to the header and I'm going to do the same thing. Click link to previous. Now we want to close the header and footer. Click the red X in the design tab. Since I want to make my second page landscape orientation, on the layout tab, select orientation landscape. Now, as you can see, we have a portrait page on page one a landscape page on page two, and a portrait page on page three. Since I need to insert a table on my landscape page, I want to see my paragraph marks. I want to make sure that I'm on the correct position on the page. To do this, go to the Home tab, and in the Paragraph group, click on the Show Hide icon. Now I can see my paragraph marks, and my section breaks. Before I insert my table, I want to make sure my cursor is before the section break. As my preference, I always want to make sure I have a paragraph mark before my section break. So at this point, I put my cursor before the section break and I hit enter twice. Next, I want to position my cursor on the top paragraph mark. Now I will copy in my table at this position. If this is a table created in Word, to copy the entire table, click this icon. It selects the whole table. Hit Control C to copy the table. Now go back to the document in which you would like to insert the table. At the cursor, hit Control V, which copies in your table. And that is the end of this lesson, Section Breaks.